What is up Course Heroes? Today we are going to look at how to get your AI song published on platforms like Spotify and Pandora. Let's get started. So today I'm going to show you how to get your song on Spotify and we're going to use a couple of tools for this. This is whether you have an AI generated song, which is what this is, or you are a creator that's writing and creating their own songs. This is going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get your song on Spotify. In my case, I was using AI. So let me start with the AI tool that I used to create this song. And that tool is called Suno. And I'll put all these links in the description so you can check it out. So once you are on Suno, you can create a free account. And once you create a free account, you'll get some free credits to use. And you can also subscribe to their payment plan. So if you look at their plan, you get 10 songs a month on the free plan. So if you're just playing around with this tool, I would definitely recommend that. Or you can go on the monthly or annual bill. From here, let me get back to create. And you can see I have a bunch of songs created here. If this is your first time, you obviously won't have any songs here. You can use AI and give it a prompt to create your song. Or you can upload your custom lyrics and have AI use those lyrics to create the song for you. So for our use case today, I am going to have AI create the song for me, but I also want to show you what some of these controls do. Starting on the top here, if you enable your custom mode, you'll be able to enter your own lyrics, but you can also ask AI to make random lyrics for you. And then you can also make this song instrumental only by checking this box right here. Here we go, we have our lyrics generated by AI. So we're gonna go with these lyrics so I can show you the entire process of how this song gets created. In my case here, I have version 3.5, which is their latest version. You can toggle between some of the older versions as well. This one gives you four minutes max. So keep that in mind. And then you can also upload your own audio. If you do try to do that, you have to remember that it has to be an original audio between six to 60 seconds. Coming further down here, you can just type anything here to make changes to the song. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then further down here, you can add the style of music that you want AI to create. Now, I recommend you hover over here and check out what these question marks mean. Or if you're not sure which style of music you want, you can always go to chat GPT or another AI tool and ask them what are the different genres and styles of music and then you can play with it. For now, let's just do female singer and let's stick to pop. So these are the two styles of music I want. I want a female singer voice and I want pop music. And then the title is automatically generated, but you can play around and change the title of your song if you'd like. For now, let's give it these parameters and create our song so we can move on to that next step. Once you press your create button, your song is going to start getting generated. And this could take, depending on your connection, anywhere between a few seconds to maybe up to a minute to get this song generated. All right, so we have two versions of that song created. And you can see this one is about three minutes long. This is 2.30. At this point, you can download this and we can move on to the next step. But I want to show you a few things here. And then I'm also going to regenerate a song to show you the different styles you can apply. And we'll take the same lyrics so we can do a little bit of compare and contrast and see which style is netting us better results. So here, uh, if you click on this three dots, you have a few options. You can edit the details. You can reuse the prompt. You can also add this to your playlist. Uh, the one that I use the most is download. So I can download the song. You can share it and then you can also delete or report it. Let's go and play one of these and see what it sounds like. So this is our first version and then we can listen to the second one. Stars 
So now we have our songs. You can also make this public. So this will be available in Sonos public library, which is right here. Or you can go and explore some of the creations. And I would highly recommend you do that because when you go and explore, you can see all the different kinds of music that you can create. So when I click on explore, these are all the different kinds of music. And if you click on one of these, you will see songs that have been created in that music style. So I clicked on harp squad anti folk and it starts playing a song and then I can skip through and listen to some of the songs. So definitely something cool to explore. Check it out. Going back to our Sono dashboard. Now what I want to do is recreate the song and just use a different style of music this time. So I'm going to reuse the prompt and it's going to put the lyrics here again. Now this time, instead of female singer and pop, I'm going to paste a bunch of styles to show you how you can make this truly unique. All right, so here are a bunch of styles of music that I have pasted in here. So electro swing, bubblegum pop, catchy melody, swing brass, upbeat rhythms, bouncy synths, and groovy bass. That last one, I think we have ran out of room, so I'm gonna delete the last one. And let's see what happens once we create this. So I'm gonna title it version two. I'm gonna pause this video, come back with that song is ready so we can listen to it and see how the different styles of music can influence the outcome. All right, our two songs are ready. They're still being rendered, but we should be able to play and listen to it. Let's check it out. I like this way better than the first one where I only had a couple of different styles. Let's listen to it again with a different one. I like them. So at this point, you're gonna download this music and then we're gonna move on to the next step to get this onto Spotify, which is getting to DistroKid. So distrokid.com I already created a, a artist profile here. My artist name is Aspen Rogue. And you can see I have two songs here. And you can also see all the different platforms that this song is available to listen on. So let's download our audio from Suno and walk you through the steps of how to get it uploaded to DistroKid, which will then distribute your song to all the other music platforms. So once you have set up your DistroKid account, what you wanna do is go to upload music. And here you can choose the services that you want your song to be distributed to. So I have all of this checked by default. Next is, do you want to upload a single song or do you want to upload a bunch of songs? My recommendation to, would be to play with one to begin with. And then once you get used to it, do as many as you like. Uh, the next is, has this single been previously released? No, artist band name, I already have my profile created. And at, once you are creating your DistroKid account, you will go through these steps. Same thing here, you will go through the steps to connect these services, which is a one-time setup, and then you'll always be able to choose them. I don't want it on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, the release date, I'm gonna choose today. If you wanna set a future date, you will have to upgrade. So I'm on the free plan, and hence I only have the option of today. Everything else looks great. Uh, genre, I'm going to pick a genre from the dropdown here. And for genre, we're gonna choose pop. Uh, if you do have a secondary genre, you can pick that. Album cover. So if we go back to Suno, you will see that there is an album cover already generated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click this image here and save it. And then back in DistroKid, I'm gonna upload that exact same image. Oh, once you have uploaded your album cover, we're gonna give our song a title. Uh, the rest of these things, I typically just leave them as is. Uh, and then you're also going to upload your audio file here. So let's drag that from my computer again the rest of the stuff i leave blank I, you do have to put in your artist name so i'm going to put that in 
does not have explicit lyrics but it does contain lyrics and this one i again leave as is the itunes price you cannot change this so once the song makes it to itunes if someone wants to purchase it they can do so for 99 cents if you want to change the price you'll have to upgrade to the premium version of distro kit so we're going to leave it as is and then from here i'm just going to check all these boxes these are just upgrades that DistroKid is trying to sell. So I'm gonna skip all the upgrades and let's continue. Now our album art and our track is getting uploaded. And then on the final step, we'll get to select if we want an enhanced version or if we want a non-enhanced version, which is just our regular version that we downloaded from Suno. So I'm gonna choose the regular one. And then once you hit continue, this is when the song will get uploaded to all those different channels. And this approximately takes three to five business days. As you keep doing this, uh, it could get quicker. I have seen my song being on Spotify within eight hours. So just be patient if this is your first time. And from here, you're off to the races and I hope you get really good downloads and listens. And there you have it, Course Heroes. That is how easy it is to publish your songs using AI and DistroKid. Let me know what you thought about this video. Drop a comment below and until next time, keep creating.